35 million. That's the number of visitors who come to Canada every year. But now it could be harder than ever for many of them to get here. A two-month-old strike by Canadian diplomats is making it difficult for many travelers to get visas. It's hitting tourism and the education sector as well. Dominic Valaitis has more from London. What these strikes have done effectively is create a huge visa backlog. We've been getting reports, for example, of people uh, wanting to go to Canada, having to wait for up to 90 days for their visas to be processed. That is having an impact on the tourist industry. Indeed, one estimate is that it may cost Canada somewhere in the region of $280 million in lost revenue. Education is another sector that's being hit, with some foreign students having been forced to withdraw from Canadian universities and college courses because they simply didn't get their visas to study in time. So a lot of money potentially being lost there as well, especially when you consider that last year, and according to the government's own figures, more than 100,000 foreign students spent nearly $8 billion and created 81,000 jobs by studying in Canada. Here's what the Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and Multiculturalism, Jason Kenney, had to say about the visa situation. Uh, in the last federal budget, um, the government dedicated an additional $22 million a year uh, to improving visa processing. So while we are seeing some short-term um, uh, slowdowns as a result of the strike, we hope to see mid- to long-term uh, recovery because of the investments that we are making. Well, the union which represents diplomats say there is only one key issue, equal pay for equal work. That's their slogan. That's what they're calling for. They claim that the uh, foreign service officers have been uh, subjected to, in their words, unfair and demoralizing wage gaps when compared to other government employees performing similar or indeed identical work. The union claims that uh, those pay gaps range from $3,000 at one end of the scale to $14,000 at the other end.